What's up guys, DJ Mike James coming here to you. Picked up a uh, kind of a last minute gig here. I got my buddy DJ Will with me to help me set up. Uh, we're in Mattoon, Illinois, about to do the uh, Mattoon uh, High School prom. So let's get in there and get set up and we'll see how this thing goes. What's up guys, DJ Mike James coming at you. Uh, we're here at the uh, Mattoon High School Gymnasium uh, for their 2023 Junior Senior Prom. Uh, as you saw in my intro, this was sort of a, it was a last minute pickup for me uh, due to some, you know, circumstances out of their control. The uh, person they had booked and had been booking for a long time was not able to perform tonight. So they were scrambling to find someone um, with that being said, I was booked somewhere else, but was able to uh, move some things around and and uh, make it work so that uh, I could be there to provide service and uh, and do these kids as prom. Uh, as you see, me and my buddy DJ Will, you know, getting my uh, Pro X uh, XF MK2 Mesa DJ facade up and running with the boombox scrim. Took a little bit of heat, you know, for, for my setup on uh, the rate my DJ stuff, but I don't worry about any of that. Like I said, uh, a lot of people were suggesting that I should have used my black scrims, but it's hard to up like black scrims. And since their theme was black, I think I kind of wanted to, uh, kind of wanted to uh, contrast that and be able to light my booth and let my booth uh, be different colors throughout the night, as you'll see a little bit later. You know, getting my road case up there, set and running. Um, lots of people to thank uh, for this for this event. You know, it was the first time I had ever done this event, and uh, some of my contacts through uh, Charleston Parks and Rec and and so on and so forth had gotten with me on literally the day before, and uh, fortunately I was able to move things around. So a big shout out to Hannah and Vinny and and uh, those guys that uh, you know uh, got me in there, and uh, hopefully you know I, I really wowed these guys. Uh, I brought kind of an extended base setup as far as up lighting and uh, the mini arc ones that'll light the booth and the totems. My 10 Rockville rock wedges, which I uplit the curtains and then half the dance floor with that. And then I brought my new sheds, uh, the animated lasers. And uh, I kind of took an idea from uh, another buddy of mine who had shined those on the curtains behind me. And uh, it really made an awesome effect, as you'll kind of, you guys will kind of see, you know, as we get into uh, the next uh, frame or what have you after after this setup. But uh, crazy setup here, you know, we had to load into the side door, lift our gear up over a few, two, three, four steps to get to gym level and then lift everything up onto the stage. So we were both feeling it, you know, especially after breakdown and everything else at the end of the night. But uh, it was well worth it. Um, I was super happy to be able to do this event. Uh, I, I, like I said, I wanted to wow those guys and bring a little bit extra and uh, not what I could bring. I know you guys, if you're watching my channel, you know I can bring trussing and moving at gobos and, and you know, bean bars and all, and all that extra stuff. But for what we did, I, I think we outdid ourselves. I guess you're seeing the still shot here with the laser that beat behind us there and their trestle to the entrance through. You see my uh, 10 Rockville rock wedges signing up on those curtains, which looks great. My my Rockville RTP uh, 32Ws uplit with Rockville RF1s. You see them lasers bursting in the background, look like fireworks going off up there. I thought that was a super cool effect. And now you're getting a closer look at those uh, 1,000 milliwatt sheds animated lasers as I have them hidden behind my ADJ StarTech Boombox FX2s and you can't even see them that they're even there performing our up ones under the booth uh, it, it looked fantastic and we we're super happy with it
So here you guys are going to see me up here performing, check out my boots, it's going crazy, different lights and, and whatnot. So it doesn't stay static the entire night, none of it does. You see my rock wedges just popping off. Big shout out to my buddy DJ Will for shooting all my B-roll for me. As we get an open dance, man, these guys were a lot of fun. Uh, high energy, I mean, just uh, I, like I said, you know, bottle that stuff and sell it because... Uh, you know, watching these guys just made me tired. And then sort of towards the end of the night, I think I finally kind of, uh, wore them out a little bit to where I could actually play some uh, some uh, slower dance music and what have you. But uh, overall, it was a great experience. You see, I mean, just in the crowd, to see your people there, you know, what my... Uh, what my boombox fx2s that lighting package that that does and then as that gets dimmer and brighter a lot of that has to do with my booth and my up lights but it also has to do with the foreign ones with the color washes and moving head gobos and all of those things that are going on all at the same time but again lots of people to thank you know uh as far as you know making this gig happen um Again, it was under an unfortunate situation, but look at these guys, man. They didn't even know, and, and um, you know, we just kept it going, and, and I, you know, I did my best to, to, to rock their spot for them, and uh, it was a really good time. But, uh, again, big thanks, Matching High School. Big thanks to uh, Hannah, Charleston Parks and Rec. A big thanks to Vinny from Mattoon High School who organized most of this, and, you know, and my friend DJ Will for helping me set up. Like always, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, smash that subscribe button, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.